So you did a, a wonderful way to finish your last training camp in the Bahamas, you know? A uh, great way, great way to finish my last training camp uh, in paradise. <laughs> um, um, well loved, um, always much love when I come here, you know, to the Bahamas. Um, it's just like being in Miami for me, man. The love is, uh, the love is unmatched, um, and um, I appreciate it a lot. So, you know, did a dream come true to come here to the Bahamas and, you know, start off my last year the right way. You've talked about so many times that uh, you came from undrafted to the GA over, overseas, you came back. You are the pinnacle of, of what success looks like an undrafted player. So he is well known to develop undrafted players right now. You have Struess, Duncan, Highsmith, Yurt, Gabe, you know, the list goes on. What, what, is, what do you want to impart these young guys in your last year as the, as the captain? As, you know, and I, I heard you say the Duncan's podcast is someone like, people make so much noise about why you're selling the heat, but they know. The team knows, players knows your impact. What do you want to give and um, hope that they move on to, the, to, to their, when they're veterans in their team? I mean, it's a tribute to our organization. You know, I think, um, you know, it's not easy to put together a, a playoff caliber, a championship caliber team every year. Um, you go through your ups and downs, you don't always have draft picks. And, um, you know, some teams opt to tank and, and, and do it a different way. Um, we opt to dig in um, and find those needles in the haystack, um, those diamonds in the rough. Um, those roses, you know, that grow from the concrete. You know, we do our work, um, and we bring those guys along. Um, so, therefore, we never really have any wasted years. We don't have any tanking seasons. We don't have to go through those things because we always do our homework and bring in the right guys to be competitive every single year. Um, you know, for me, I just continue to pass that along to these guys, what they can do and what their career can be like in 20 years. You know, there's no limitation. Sky's the limit. This is the opportunity for you. This is the perfect place. Um, and if you fall in line with the coaching and work hard and do the right things, you can have a 20-year career, just like me. How's the team looking this year? Great, great. I think we're bonding. We're ahead of the game because we had so much time uh, last year. We didn't, we didn't lose you know, very much. We pretty much know everybody. Um, health is always a major concern. But we're bonding. We're enjoying it. We're here in the Bahamas, you know what I mean, in paradise. So it's been a great trip so far, man. Any of the undrafted players, the rookie players, how do you suppose said, and I think you said money that Drew Smith was the one who gave you the most, uh, who you said the most. Talk about Drew Smith. I mean, all these guys, Kane, Drew, Orlando, um, you know, they've all, you know, impressed me in different moments. You know, I tend to keep my eye on the young guys a lot closer than I do most of these other guys that's been here. So, you know, just focusing on what those guys do, you know, what they need to work on, you know, what type of person they are, how to approach them, how to encourage them. You know, those are things that you learn through our training camp. So I spend a lot of time just paying attention to these guys, their body language, um, you know, what they what they respond to, what they don't respond to. Um, and they're a good group of guys, man. So I'm looking forward to working with them. And it's going to be a bright future with them, hopefully here, but in this NBA overall. So, I, I, sorry. so I, I asked Bam um, on Monday about this year, your last season as an OG. He'll be the captain next year. Um, talk, and he said you really broke him out of his shell where he always thought he should lead by example. But you told me you talk about, speak about uh, using his voice. Talking okay, about your two little Bahamas, he's about to be the, the, new, the new captain of the culture. Yeah, yeah I wasn't always a verbal, verbal guy. You know, I was more of a you know action type guy. You know, I lead by example. I play my, my butt off. Um, and I use my energy to raise the energy of the guys around me. Um, but I think the way where Bam can be you know, most helpful and vocal is on defense. You know, I think, um, you know, the way he plays defense, the things he's capable of doing on defense um, is rare in this league. You can't see a guy that can really shut down five positions like he can. So I think the way he can really help us is let his voice be heard on defense, holding everybody accountable on the defensive end. I think we're a top, you know, two uh, defensive team, hopefully be a number one defensive team. Um, you know, anytime we're in that area for defense, um, we're usually having a good season and, you know, making a deep playoff run.